Hardly. I believe we did. Deadpool and Wolverine, welcome to the MCU, baby, aka Marvel Cinematic Universe. Woohoo, baby! Woohoo! Hello, everyone, or oh, good afternoon, everyone. We ever call it. Honestly, guys, I'll teach you a good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, Spider Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001. Well, guys, this reveal has finally arrived on my YouTube channel, and not just that, later on tonight, I will do a 20 minute video of me talking about the spoiler reveal of Deadpool Wolverine. But don't worry, everyone, but I'm not including kids for this video, because this video is definitely not for children. Definitely not for children. So I'm saying, so don't want your kids to watch this video. So do not want your kids to watch this video, because this video is based on the way it all movie. So kids, you should not be watching this film without your parents' permission. And you should not watch this film at all because this film has a violent, this film has a brutal violent, this film has a bloody violent, like I said like three times in this video with the different language, has some inappropriate joke, has some inappropriate uh, sexual reference, and this film have one of the most inappropriate thing that you've ever seen in a what it all film. I won't say it, but you already know what it is. I ain't gonna say it. I already know it didn't make no sense, but hey, all my reviews don't make no sense. My review is way more different than the other review, like you see, like a million times, honestly. So, hey guys, so today I am doing a movie review to one of the movie event of the year, which is none than Deadpool and Wolverine. Came out of the year of 2024, the same year as this movie, Inside Out 2, Doom Part 2. And of course, Weather Moon Part 2. I, honestly, I ain't talk about that freaking movie. And of course, the worst movie I ever seen in my life. Mega Minor Doom Symmetry. <laughs> Don't want to think about it. That give me nightmares. So, hey guys, enough of the ado. Let's get this Deadpool and Wolverine video started, shall we? It's review time. I mean, review time. So, hey guys. My thought on the first Deadpool movie, which just came out like eight years ago, I freaking love that movie, and I really enjoy the heck out of that movie. And more I think about it, I might put that film as my favorite film of 2016. Yup, even better than Zootopia, La La Land, or even Moana. Even I really enjoy those movies, but nowadays, I think about Deadpool, and I'm thoughting about putting Deadpool as my favorite film of 2016. Didn't I care what everyone said? I think it's even better than Captain America Civil War. And, I mean... Even I enjoy that film, but I think Deadpool is a much better comic book movie than BVS, aka Batman v Superman, Dawn of Poopies, which, yeah, my thought on that film have been to cry more, I think about it. And even better than The Suicide Squad 2016. Yes, F that movie. And so, hey guys, and Deadpool 2, which just came out like, it came out like six years ago, I think. It came out in 2018, honestly. So, Deadpool 2 is even funnier than the first movie because that film is ready 18. So, the first movie is ready is rated 15 but um but uh, Deadpool 2 is rated 18 so I give it to you this film is rated 18 too so I think this film is even funnier than the uh, second film in my opinion so hey guys and I totally will and I totally respect Harry Thomas opinion on Deadpool 2 he is not a fan of that movie but I gotta be honest hell I really enjoy Deadpool 2 it's even funnier than the happy time murderers that's not how you do a word at all version of the Buffy for God's sakes. And so, hey guys, and honestly, we was worried that we are never, ever going to see a Deadpool movies ever again because of Disney owned by 20th century. Sorry. I mean, Disney just literally by 20th century studio and Kevin Feige and the MCU was struggling how to make these Deadpool movies because Deadpool is not kid friendly and Kevin Feige, I already know you want your MCU to be PG-13 like my audience, but we all grown up. We want to see a mature content because superhero movie is not all about kitty funness. Superhero movie is all about rated all content with bloody violent, bloody language, and some reference that people just don't respect to see in a rated all film, honestly. And so, hey guys, 
And for all these years, Deadpool or Wolverine has finally arrived in theaters. And on the guys in the on the in the review is absolutely a masterpiece. It's even better than the review of Inside Out 2. Even I enjoy Inside Out 2 as one of the best animated film of the year. But I gotta be honest here, but I think this film is even better than Inside Out 2, or even better Doom Part 2, or even better uh, Lizzie Frankenstein. Which is my favorite romantic comedy movie ever since I uh, forget a show on Mojo or even Mitch, I'm sorry, or even uh, Meet the Parent trilogy. Well, except the third film because you already Hans got you already know what my thought on what a crap up. Yeah, I ain't gonna talk about that film anymore. It's animated existence. And so hey guys, so when I was watching the trailer for Deadpool Wolverine, I have never got excited for an MCU trailer since No Way Home, The Avengers Endgame, or, or heck, The Avengers Affinity War. Because I have never, I have never seen people get excited for the MCU, sorry, for the MCU movie since three years ago, since we have Spider-Man No Way Home, because it's been a while, because Deadpool got to save the MCU, because after the failure box office of the Marvel, man, I feel bad for the attractive actress for Janelle and Billy Watson, and you better leave her alone, haters, you better leave her alone. And, I mean, you better leave her alone or else I'll get you. Anyway, guys, I won't be getting you guys, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, so... So this morning when I was waking up and do my Instagram and post like always and honestly guys and I was getting myself ready for the Deadpool movie. I eat I'm sorry, I ate some ramen noodles, I um I cut my hair, look like Wade, aka Deadpool, whatever you call. And anyway, and um and I was getting my gummy ready, but not until I buy gummy at the AM sorry, sorry, um at the movie fiddles. It's my secret, so yeah. And anyway guys, so um I saw this film at nine thirty in the morning. I saw this film in the morning, and right now is 1.17. So I got back home, my God, hmm, like 12.30 or 12, um, 12.29, but I don't know. But honestly, uh, but honestly, guys, you know we get my dress. So, you guys, so what, I'm oh, sorry. So, what do I think about the third installment of the Deadpool movie, which is another than Deadpool and Wolverine, which is the one film that Kevin Feige and the MCU was struggling to make it, and now they got a director who made Free Guy and even the Adam Padraig, which I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed that film. That is honestly one of the most underrated film that Sean ever did. And now, Sean has finally directed to the third installment of the Deadpool movie. So what do I think about the Deadpool and Wolverine? Does this film, does this film is a wolf the hype? Is a wolf of weight? And does this film has some wolf, I mean wolf of weight for a, for a project like this? Well guys, I gotta say is, is one of the best film of the year. Whoa, 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 Inside Out 2 fan base. Don't hurt me right now. And honestly guys, and don't get opinion on a bunch. I was just saying, I think this film is a lot funner than Inside Out 2. I like Inside Out 2. It's one of the best animated films of the year. But not until, um, hmm, maybe Transformers 1. Nah, I don't know. Honestly, guys, I'm seriously, I seriously doubt that Transformers 1 would take this spot as my number one favorite animated film of all time, honestly. So, yeah, I mean, um, my favorite animated film of the year, honestly. And so, hey, guys, even I enjoy Inside Out 2 as one of the... It's one of the best animated film of the year, honestly. But my own personal opinion, my original opinion, I think this film, Deadpool Wolverine, is my number one favorite film of the year. I have fun watching this movie. I cry in the movie. I laugh in the movie. This film has some funny humor, funny joke, has some amazing brutal violence. And this has to be one of the most violent movie I have ever watched since Joker. Do you hear me? This film right here. This film is even violent, even violent than the two Deadpool movie, Joker, and oh for God's sake, oh even Once Upon a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which happy um happy fifth anniversary to that masterpiece. I absolutely love that film, and I might do a review of that maybe tomorrow morning. So maybe we'll see. And so hey guys, and this has to be one of my favorite X Men movie ever. I did not care what the freaking Minion Studio said, saying this, say, saying this film is not a X Men movie. Oh my God, how many times did, how many times I did teach you what you was on your old man? And honestly, guys, this film is a X Men movie. Okay, this film is an X Men movie, so that's why I count count this film as an X Men movie. So don't don't get on me in the comments fashion, okay? 
Okay, good. And uh, uh, honestly, guys, I would be happy than be mad. And so, hey, guys, this is, has to be one of my favorite MCU movie ever since Endgame. Cannot, I cannot believe I say it with my big mouth. I cannot believe I say this is even better than the Masterpiece, the Avengers Endgame. Even I enjoy the three-hour MCU movies, but I gotta say, but this film has a lot of cameos, has a lot of violence, and have one of the most brutal, riddled all movies I ever seen in my life since, hmm, hmm. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, Zack Snyder Justice League, or even Oppenheimer, because Oppenheimer is red at all. With graphic nudity and some, it's some scene that, that you don't see in the what it all film. Yeah, that's what I thought. And so, hey, guys, and I gotta say, but this film is my favorite film of the year. This has to be one of my favorite MCU movies since Endgame. So, do I have any negative about this film? Nah, I don't have any flaws about this film because if I get one flaws about this film, I would be a terrible movie critic and I would be a terrible MCU fan because this is exactly the movie that we should have gotten in the begin with. And I gotta say, but a lot of pros, oh boy, book up your seat for everyone. This is gonna be one of the most longer reviews that we ever got since my The SpongeBob SquarePants movie review. So let's get started, shall we? I seriously think the story is on the one. <clears throat> I'm seriously thinking that the story is a fantastic story, even if it's not the- uh, Wait, scratch that. Honestly, this is, has to be one of the best story I have ever- I have ever seen for a Deadpool movie. Even I enjoy some of the two Deadpool movies, but I gotta say, but this film is even funnier than the first and the second. And the characters. I like every single character in this film. Like Deadpool himself, he's a fantastic character. And yeah, sure, he can be annoying, but that's what Deadpool is, honestly. And I am so happy that Kevin Feige and the MCU had decided to give Wolverine a iconic suit for the very first time. What you guys take you so long? Because 20th Century Studio didn't even bother, they didn't even bother to give this Hugh Jackman a, a classic Wolverine costume. Well, 20th Century Studio, we shouldn't have done that in the first place. And I'll get the 20th Century Studio tribute in a minute. And so you guys, and the villain, I gotta say, but I'm seriously thinking the villain just literally dethroned Thanos as my favorite MCU villain ever. She's really brutal, she's really amazing, and I do have a crush on her since Scarlet, sorry, uh, Scarlet Witch from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And the cameos, I won't be spoiling the cameo, but that will be my next video, so stay tuned for that. Sorry, so stay tuned for that, everyone. And the violent, I mean, in the action scene. This is hand down one of the best action scenes I ever seen for an MCU movie since No Way Home, The Avengers Endgame, or even Infinity War. Because the uh, I mean, honestly, guys, this is why this film is rated all because Kevin Feige, I mean, want this film to be more violent, more than PG-13 kid friendly violent, which nobody wants to see. That boring. We we want to see some brutal. We will. We 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 want to see some gruesome. We really want to see some of the brutal scene ever, honestly. And I won't be telling you who is Lady Deadpool, but I will tell you in my spoiler review of Deadpool Wolverine. And honestly, guys, and the acting, the acting is really incredible. Like, honestly, guys, give this Hugh Jackman a Oscar Rosie for Best Supporting Actor because his performance is absolutely Oscar Rosie. I absolutely like his, I mean, like his performance, and I really hope the academies will nominate Hugh Jackman as the best supporting actor, or give this film like best picture, just like you did for Black Panther. I won't have a problem with that, but I'm give it to you that Black Widow guy will might have a problem with that. But we'll see about that. And the climax, I won't be spoiling the climax, but I might tell you the climax in my spoiler review of Deadpool Wolverine. So yeah. And so you guys, and this film has some ton of reference to the MCU, had a ton of reference to the FOX characters, like the Edo character, like you see in the bad, <laughs> bad or uh, non, sorry, non-Marvel movie, like you already know what it is, I ain't gonna say it because that's my, uh, honestly guys, that's my discussion for my spoiler review of that, anyway. Anyway guys, my favorite part of the movie, I won't be saying it, but I might tell you my favorite part of the movie in my spoiler review, so stay tuned for that. And I will tell you who is Lady Pool. Definitely not Taylor Swift, oh no, oh no Swifty, oh no Swifty. Taylor Swift is not in this movie, well even, well even the one part of the movie that I won't be spoiling, so I might talk about it in my spoiler review as well. And so, hey guys, there was nothing to say about this film because I'm just, I'm just saving my, um, 
I'm just saving my even longer one time for my spoiler review. So it's just not to say about this film. So overall, guys, Deadpool Wolverine is a is a epic, brilliant masterpiece to the whole new to the whole new level. And this film is exactly that you want in an MCU movie. And this is exactly what you want for a Deadpool movie. We've been waiting for all these years to see a team up between what Deadpool Wolverine. And boom, Kevin Feige, you guys are awesome. And this is why MCU just just trying their best to kick DCU in the behind. Well, I once again, I won't be trashing on the DCU because that's the same studio that James Gunn is doing. So I don't want to trash on that man because that man is a fantastic, fantastic, I mean, fantastic president. And I am so glad that Warner Brothers Discovery is falling apart. And now Warner Brothers can go back to the golden days. So goodbye, David Zazel. Won't be missing you anymore. So hey guys, this film is a epic, brilliant masterpiece, and this is exactly what you sorry, and this is exactly what we want in the begin with. The story is absolutely sorry. <clears throat> the story is absolutely amazing. The characters is really is really unforgettable, and the action scene is really brutal. The cameo is really surprising, which is honestly one of the most surprising cameo I ever seen in a movie like this. And I will tell you who Lady Pooh is because. She is, has to be one of my sorry. She is, has to be one of the most attractive characters from the MCU movie, sorry, from the MCU since the attractive version of Black Widow from the 2012 The Avengers movies. Yeah, honestly guys, how honestly guys, I won't be stopped staring that version of Black Widow. I, just, I'm seriously thinking that I, I really like her. With her red hair more, sorry, more than the blonde hair, honestly. And don't worry, guys, my talking red Deadpool Wolverine season two will be officially confirmed on Story Fire, so stay tuned for that. And honestly, guys, it will be taking place. I mean, I'm probably, I'm probably season two will take place after, after this movie. So see this film first, and then you can watch season two of Talking with Deadpool on my story file. Just go watch my season one. Season one, don't have any spoiler, but now my season two, after I watch this film, cannot wait to talk about, I cannot wait to talk more about this film, because this film means something to me. I just want to say, Kevin Feige and the MCU, and Sean, I gotta say, for the casting crew, I gotta, I mean, I mean, and the rest of the crews, I just, I mean, I have to be honest here, I have to say thank you so much for bringing Deadpool Wolverine to the MCU for the very first time. This is why you guys are always the best and this is why MCU is in my heart. The same with Disney, but MCU will always be my heart and I will and I won't be trashing on the MCU. Even I don't really care about Love and Thunder more I love and trash. I cannot stand up freaking movies. And Iron Man 2 Thor The Dark War, or even the first Captain Marvel movies, I like the sequel, but I didn't even care about the first movies. But even I don't care about those movies, but I gotta say, but Kevin Feige and the MCU, you will always be one of my favorite superhero genre I have ever seen. And without MCU, the superhero generation won't be the same. And kids, you should not be watching it. This film was rated at all. This film has some brutal violence. This film has an inappropriate reference. And this film has one of the most, most language that you've ever seen in the rated all film since Oppenheimer, honestly. So, hey guys, I'm going to give Deadpool or Wolverine, aka one of the best film of the year, a 10 out of 10. This is an epic, brilliant masterpiece. And I'm giving this an epic chimichangas, a seal of Nick Hick awesomeness. Now, you excuse me for dinner. After I seen this film, I thought this film is making me hungry for chimichanga. Chimichanga, chimichanga, yo, chimichanga. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so, hey guys, that was my movie review to one of my best film of the year, which is Dead and Deadpool Wolverine. Cannot wait to talk about this spoiler review. And don't worry, I will show the different poster of that instead of the angry management poster. Because I saw it on Dopey Cinema, so that's why I showed this poster. This has to be one of the funniest MCU posters since, hmm, I don't know, like the laughable bad Spider-Man Homecoming poster. Yeah, that poster is the worst poster. The worst poster I ever seen for an MCU, sorry, for an MCU poster. Like, come on, MCU, don't you ever in your life do that poster again. That was, that was bad, that was bad. Well, not as bad as the Emoji Movie poster. Yeah, talking to your biatch. A anyway, guys, so... Tell me about your opinion on this film on the comments in your book. Think it's good, think it's bad, think it's mediocre, think it's bad, think it's the worst. And I swear to God, if I hear any MCU movie, sorry, 
I swear to God, if I hear any MCU hater gonna bash this film, gonna bash my opinion because this film give me, give me excited. Well, I gotta say, but you guys, oh, sorry, I gotta say, but you guys, all the MCU haters, I gotta say, these MCU haters is a bunch of party pooper. Yeah, they all a bunch of party pooper. If you hate this film, I gotta say, but you guys just don't understand what comic book is. You guys just don't understand what Deadpool movie works, and you, and most of definitely, you don't understand the soap material. So if I hear any bad review for Deadpool Wolverine, I gotta say, but you guys just don't understand what superhero genre is. Not trying to bash your opinion, but it was a fact, but it can show that you guys just, just don't understand what superhero is and superhero fatigue. That superhero fatigue must come to an end right now. And so you got a part of my next, a part in the next movie I might saw in theaters, hmm, maybe Transformers 1 because it's coming out before my birthday, so I might watch that film because I'm a huge fan of Transformers, but I'm seriously a doubt that I will see it on the opening day. So I might see it on, honestly, I might see it with my mom, I might see it, sorry, I might see it with Bub or Harry Joan or even my mom because I don't trust myself to go see movies in theaters by myself. So I had to pay for a ticket, I had to pay for popcorn and a drink, so that would be a that would be a lot of responsibility. So if my mom, um, I mean, won't be available to take me, I might, might have Bub or even my other friend would take me to see that Transformers one because I might see it because it's been a while. I will watch a Transformers. Honestly, guys, I have never watched a Transformers film since I don't know, like, honestly, guys, I haven't. Hmm. Huh. Like, wait a minute. Did I see Transformers in theaters? No, of course not. Oh man, nah, 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 nah. I'm stupid. And sorry, guys. And no, I haven't. I haven't seen a Transformers film before. So honestly, guys, I'm probably Transformers One will be my first. Will be my first Transformers movie I ever gonna see in theaters. Sorry, guys. Here's a movie I'm gonna see in theaters. I might see Transformers One, Joker Two, and Moana Two will be a great sign off to my movie theaters. So that will be it. So after Moana 2, that will be it. I won't be seeing the Lord of the Wayne animated movies. And I won't be available to see that M. Night Shyamalan the Dean Dog movie called Trap. So I'm really concerned about that film. Because that film is coming out the same day as Save Your Bikini Bottom. Oh my god. I am not looking forward to that movie. And that was only one of my least anticipated movie of the rest of the year. Oh my god. I'm just so dreading for that movie. And it's coming out the same day as the Weathered Old Cut of River Moon. Cannot wait to watch that movie. Because I really hope that film will be even better with much better, much better improvement to the PG-13 cut that we got back in but last year and this year. Yeah, I was not impressed for the PG-13 cut, but I'm giving the Red Dog cut a chance. Because you gave me a Red Dog violent, and that's exactly what we want to begin with. So hey guys, so tell me what's your favorite Deadpool movie in the comment section below. If you're under 15, because the Deadpool trilogy is not kid friendly, it's definitely not kid friendly. Because I'm seriously thinking that this film is rated 18. Just like the sequel, this film is rated 18. So, kids, you, sh you should not be watching it. And Limbo is right back. Please go see this movie. This film is pretty worth it. It's pretty worth it that you see on the big screen. Same with Transformers 1 and the same with Moana 2. But most definitely, this film is. This is honestly, guys. This is honestly, guys. This is this is a. I mean, this film is not a type of film that you could watch it at home. Boring. You should watch it on Dopey. You you should watch it on IMAX, and you most definitely you might watch it on 3D. But me will say. And so, hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more of this Deadpool Wolverine content this year, please I highly recommend you to hit the subscribe button, turn on notification, and share the with your whole family. And stay tuned for my 20 hour. Sorry. I'm sorry. Stay tuned for my sorry, stay tuned for my spoiler review of Deadpool Wolverine and if the box office will come out, I will do I'm sorry, I will do so many videos about the Deadpool Wolverine content. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for my ranking of the MCU movie on my YouTube committee tab. I ain't a fan talk about it on video form. And stay tuned for my X-Men ranking. Yes, this film is a count as an X-Men movie. I don't want to hear any comments fashion that people have all that to say, Oh, but the, the Deadpool 3 is not an X-Men movie. Because it's a strike, would you? This film is an X-Men movie. So why in the world that has some X-Men reference in this film in the first place? Oh, I give it spoiler. Spoiler. Sorry, guys. And that, honestly, guys, before, before I end this video, I have to talk about the tribute of 20th Century Studio. That was the one spoiler I can one give. I can give one spoiler. It won't, it won't hurt any problem. So, eh. It's not as poor. Sorry, guys. Not 20th Century Studio tribute. 
when they show the behind the scene of all the X Men movie and and all the <clears throat> and all the movie that Twenty Century Studio ever did for an X Men movie, and of course they show that terrible fan four stick. I don't want to talk about it. So, hey guys, I just want to say that was a beautiful tribute, and I just want to say without Twenty Century Studio. The superhero movie won't be the same without 20th Century Studio. So 20th Century Studio, thank you so much for giving me for giving us a great X-Men movie, a good X-Men movie, a mediocre X-Men movie, and of course a terrible X-Men X-Men movie. Like X-Men Origin Wolverine, Dark Phoenix, and of course the new mutant. I don't want to talk about that piece of crap. And then of course we got a terrible sequel to the Blade movie. And of course, we got a movie called The Aka. I have no idea what that movie called. It's starting Jennifer Garner, but you already know what that movie is, and I ain't gonna say it. So I might talk about it in my spoiler review of Deadpool Wolverine. So, hey guys, this is Nick Hicks, Spider Bros, and Frozen 2, and Cam Possible Fan 2001 signing out. And Cam and Fight, I want more Red It All content. I don't want. I don't want PG 13 MCU movie. Go into the boys' level and make more Where It All movie of the MCU. Where It All is a GOAT.